Thank you for taking your time today. We really appreciate it. And uh, I hope this will be a special time for our Myanmar group. It's going to be our last time with the Ivan Kiwi. Oh, sorry, Ivan Kiwi family. <laughs> Let's have our opening prayer with Kaino. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Happy Sabbath. We're still exciting, right? Let's start, let's start with praying. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Nung tawalin to pa nung imite kitsingin to pa to nitak na to pa yako. Ito no te to pa sabi ni siyang tawin na to pa. The Lord said he understands. Never stop, 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 never stop
For our last song, uh, last song, I I was informed that this is one of our beloved pastor's favorite songs, and so if you all could stand up with us and sing, that would be wonderful.
Just voices. Praise God. Thank you, guys. You guys may have a seat. Thank you, praise team. Uh, my friend here, Wonpi, he's a first year theology student at Walla Walla. Thank you, Wonpi, for coming all the way through the mountain pass so that we can say farewell to our dear pastor. Um, thank you. And the, uh, the ladies, uh, Rachel, Ting Nu, and Ngai No. Ngai no is the youngest. Is she four years old? Wait. Oh, I don't remember the age. Sorry. Okay. And they said, oh, I forgot the wise man that used to tell me that I shouldn't mention ladies' age. I forgot about that. Mama Mia. Mama Mia. All right. Um, and our musician, Mr. Russell, thank you, Mariah, and where's Adam? Oh, he left, I see, okay. Adam, thank you for pitching in as well. We were blessed with the music, aren't you? Beautiful. At this time, we're going to take a moment. Uh, we would call it open mic moment to share our hearts to our dear pastor and his family. I'm gonna invite uh, Kaino to begin us with uh, because he can joke like Pastor Willie as well. So, all right, uh, come on up and uh, we will not limit the time, but please uh, mind the time as well. And we will, it is gonna be opened to anybody. Uh, right. All right, it's a comedy open mic, everybody. <laughs> it's a love it's it's our happy moment i want to say it's our happy moment and i uh, i don't know the church of uh officials i don't is the um is this intentionally done or uh yeah okay because it's a little bit darker here so free yourself <laughs> if if you need a moment yourself it's yours, Tom. And anyway, uh, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. If it's just for me and my group, we're just like 10 people. 
including kids. Kids, so we're we're very uh, strong group for a group, and <laughs> we like to thank. Uh, I personally like to thank uh, Pastor Willie for what you have been doing for our Myanmar community. Um, our struggle time, where Myanmar community, Myanmar group is made up of a bunch of refugee. <laughs> <laughs> we're refugees and we're very struggling in this country. Uh, we have lots of burial, language, um, transportation, um, everything. And Pastor Willie has been willing to help us with anything he can. He, he even pick up all the kids drop them off at Buena Vista for the four years. Two, I don't remember, 2017? Yes, and um, it was, I don't know what to say. It's just, I don't think I can do that. And it's very generous for uh, Pastor Willie to do that and, and the willingness to help, uh, the willingness to give. It's, um, I don't think there's anybody out there that can do that except for you, Pastor. And thank you so much. And my uh, personal story with Pastor Willie will be my wedding. Um, I was married here at the Kent Church, and he was our uh, officiant pastor uh, delivering the wedding and also dedicating my daughter to, to the Lord. And those are uh, amazing things that happened to me, and Pastor Willie is a part of, a part of that. And I can never be uh, forgotten about what he has been uh, doing for my family and my sister, my brothers, the whole Myanmar group's family. He has been doing an amazing thing. And I don't think even a Myanmar group will happen without you, Pastor. <laughs> and with you, we're, we're able to start a, a Myanmar group and still a group. <laughs> uh, and our group has been strong, but for the past week, I was thinking, the 11th of May is approaching. And one thing came in my mind is that it's very sad to me to see a pastor that we love so much, that we relied on him so much, is leaving. And and especially with us, me and my group, we're just like 10 people, including uh, children. So we're very, I don't know how to move forward. But then I realized that if Pastor Willie was our leader, and when he left, we don't know how to move forward, then he is not doing a good job. So I realized that we better keep moving, that he did a good job, therefore we can move forward. <clears throat> and, and that's the seed that he planted, the seed that he planted will live forever. And the Lord is with us, God is with us, and we we will get through this moment, at least maybe a day, right? Yeah. And we will get through it. We will keep, you know, uh, do what we have been doing. And um, this is not the end of the world. I almost felt like it's the end of the world, but something reminded me that it's not the end of the world. The cancers will be still here to support us. And, and whoever comes in, Pastor, they're serving the Lord. So as long as we serve the Lord, we're still brother and family and pastor and church members. So therefore, uh, I didn't lose hope, almost, but did not. So that's a good thing. <laughs> So on uh, behalf of my family and my um, group, I want to say thank you, Pastor, and all of your family. Jody, I know it, he's been running away from you guys so much from the Myanmar community, but thank you for <laughs> sticking with him. <laughs> and and uh, everybody from uh, Pastor Willie's family, we appreciate you 
your work, uh, your faith, and may God bless you all, and we wish you all the best for your journey. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. Hi, <laughs> Kai. I speak English, but I don't think you don't understand. <laughs> Well, thank and praise God for the opportunity for all of us to gather here today. I never thought of saying farewell to Pastor Willie's family. Um, um, Washington State is Cheryl Katunzo Okum Sambalkin. It's been uh, over a decade since we've arrived here in this state. Um, he peak in a song by the Lumo. We've come here or uh, every now and then at the beginning. Um a his on uh I about the Siam Louis Jang Mo uh he taka Nisima Pai Zong Low and Mo. Because of our language barrier, we couldn't go every Sabbath. Uh he le uh Sapate ya on tuna kipan meto uh manga e uh bang ma hilo tama leng mo sepa in a uh a palmist group tap and a a meal and nail a tool and nail more bang malo, me talk him low life and a man on low ball in a hidana on white young in a co e palmist tap and he back in Sunga on Kimoka here Our Myanmar group, although we are small, not just physically in terms of group as well, um, yet, although our littleness. Uh, he cares for us with a big heart and um, befriended us very nicely. In a sapatunga lungam mama ung ama hang in a mo, uh, he thing a co co meeting in a mo percent, uh, percent pat com tina, he chipang in a hun pateng a in a mo, uh, percent don't kiss them suck is a pa, tunga lungam mo. That uh, ama i onghui na tepen ah siya pasta i naseping kitchen mama mo kitchen mama ah pasyan tuso ya om na pe kilo ina mi mi teng pen lom bol na mo ah anel pen zong lom kata ong bol mo so so hang ah ah pasta pa pen it mama ing ong piang saning pen ah kasi mama ung so exactly as she said. <laughs> well, I'll try to recollect. Okay, no, please help me if I forget any. Uh, wait, Balenzi. <laughs> it's really profound. Uh, um, oh, Mamma Mia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think about it. Sorry. Ah, ah, in a Japan, my husband told me so he hung down to the kilo in a hit a a minute or two and on long ball na hang a mo a person na sip na mo ah. I think mama sa ung. So as a pastor, you have really fulfilled your duty. A way beyond and really took care of us and because of us we feel home here mm. uh, because, because of your ministry we just about begin to enjoy and and now they're going to leave so, 
now that you're leaving, uh, we are very sad, our family is, uh, but we also pray that God will bless you where you go and be a blessing as to others as you have been to our family. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany. Um, so probably my family and I are the, um, um, we from Urban City Church. And when pastor uh, came from Michigan um, to be pastor for Washington Conference, and he first um, became a pastor in Urban City. Um, so, uh, when um, when he came to our church, uh, we were really happy. And uh, I remember my family and I um, did our first um, hiking. Remember that? <laughs> uh, really the first uh, hiking in uh, Washington State for, for me and my family. Um, it was really fun. And um, I believe uh, it probably was the first one for you guys too. <laughs> so yeah it was really uh memorable and um during uh those years um we had very uh, good time because you know he he uh sometimes can be funny i mean saying jokes and you know we really um enjoy his jokes and and he really blessed um uh, my family and I and our church members. And then uh, we had a farewell party for him at the Open City when he came here as pastor here. So this would be the second farewell, you know, <laughs> uh, gathering for us um, um, to send him and his family off. And I believe um, just as the first farewell um, gathering that we had, um, I believe it's um, God's calling because um, he blessed us in uh, Auburn City Church. And then he came here and then he his calling, um, he has said his calling and uh, um, bless people, uh, members here and this community. Um, so I believe um, God would continue to use him to bless um, his new church and the community he will be at. And um, that's, but I really wanted to say, um, um, thank you, Pastor Willie. Um, it's really been great um, to um, be your friend. And also um, um, really, it's been a blessing. Thank you. Good afternoon, uh, church. Um, my name is Tammy, and this is my daughter, Deborah. We met Pastor Willie when we were at the Open City Church, and um, we are officially follow him when we are our Ken, Ken Church members now. But when we first met Pastor Willie and Pastor Gary over there, Deborah was very sick. And I remember when I was crying and asked for a special prayer, Pastor Willie and Pastor Gary came to my small apartment and we don't have space to sit in the house so we have to go in the backyard and prayer. I, um, and it's really touchy because I was very 
uh, worry and be alone and she's going in for the major surgery but with the um, uh, comfort and the prayer and dedication um, the time that the pastor um, encouraged me a lot by, uh, through their prayer as well at caring and uh, from that point on uh, Deborah went on the surgery successfully and thanks so much for your prayers and show us that the power of prayers and um, before that, I was in a church since I was 12, but not many times that the pastor willing to come to the house as you requested to pray for a little baby or a individual person. They prefer to do it at church most of the time. So um, it's really touchy that Pastor Willie and Pastor Gary came, and it's make a big changes especially is empower more for my faith and knowing that out there that anytime you ask a pastor that really there for the um for his mission for the church members will be there for you and thank you so much and it's sad to know that you are leaving us because we enjoy uh, following you here not just me and deborah but i also um, bring in carl into our life after we met you and then he now also transfer we are transfer our membership to this church and we are sad as we're not able to hear your sermon every week that we can make it here as well at c the seed that you plan in not just for other communities and the multi languages in this church. I don't know if you notice that um, there are only two Vietnamese uh, speaking person in this church, but to me, this is my family members and now uh, it's our uh, music is the multiple uh, language and the love language and the powerful the message that God gave us. So um, I made the Lord blessing on me. Pastor Willie and your family, you move into Florida, we will have a big church and many people who will follow and be there. Hopefully you can build many communities and then please invite us over. We can be your interpreter. Because wherever you go, you, you will see familiar faces and then hopefully, you know, maybe down the road, we miss Pastor Willie uh, so much and his family. We can meet them at Disney World because one of the cards that Deborah wrote in there, I hope you can see her handwriting. Um, she was sad when you know that Pastor Will and, and his family is leaving. So she created a, a, a farewell card and I found in there she put the word Disney. So I think she related to Florida and Disney World. So that's just another thing I would like to thank God that she's a miracle baby. She stood up here, she's 25 years old. I know we don't talk age, but to her every year, every moment, it's a blessing moment. Since that day, about nine years ago when Pastor Willie prayed for Deborah, and thank God she's still alive. You say amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hello. Hi, uh, it's been a year I've been on the pulpit and never used a microphone, so I hope you understand my shaky voice. <laughs> um, I'm from Myanmar, Burmese, and I really want to talk about how I met Pastor Willie because this is the last time I can talk to him. <laughs> and um, the first time I saw him was uh, my cousin, Rachel. She was going to this church and I follow her once and uh, we sit at the last bench. And, <clears throat> sorry, uh, Pastor Willie is uh, preaching on that day. And I, oh, we didn't even introduce him after the church finished, we just go home. And that is the first day I saw Pastor Willie. And then uh, we met again on um, our Burmese Christmas. Yeah, that is the second day. And he remembered me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> and um, he was like, oh, you're Rachel cousin. And uh, it feels so... Um,
he uh, he really welcomed me, and you don't feel like the outcast because going to um, going to a different country and meeting new people and going to a new church is very hard for everybody. And um, the way he treats everybody is like, we don't feel like the outcast. So yeah, I am very thankful for uh, remembering me. And um, after, after that day, I was thinking like, oh, well, no wonder why God chose him to be his chef shepherd. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's it. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. First, I would like to say thank God for giving me the opportunity to come and speaking about Pastor Willie and his family. Uh, say thank you. But my wife asked me, you're going to go to say something? I say yes. Please try to uh, don't speak, trying to ask someone to help you. So I'm trying to call Pastor Kaka to translate for me. So yeah. Uh, okay. Uh try la the the general the Myanmar Nico Monomari or no, not be raw general. First of all, I want to thank everybody that's that's here today to support and encourage us uh, as our, our Myanmar group. Thank you so much, and we praise God for this opportunity. Uh, no, so as I say my farewell and thanks, I want to first say thank to Jody. Because without her, Pastor Willie is aka nothing. Yeah, because uh uh, I can say to some degree from my experience, well, if my wife doesn't want me to do something, I can't really do it. So, so the Jamalo, Miss Jody, the Kononeque, Tima to Jesu Nighty Marelo, no? So, with that, uh, Miss Jody, thank you so much for these seven and a half years of our time together. The pastor will be able to do Jesus in the Bible, but we will be able to do it in the Bible. I want to uh, share my experience with Pastor uh, Willie. But I'm also going to do it in the Bible. After I got baptized with him, I was going to do it in the Bible. I was going to do it in the Bible. I was going to do it in the Bible. Uh, I was at the hospital. I received a text message. And the text reads, do you want to become, would you like to be an elder? Deacon. Or deacons. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess we'll have him say, Without me translating, mm. <laughs> but, but, but my translating kind of. Uh, so at first, I didn't know what deacon is and its role. So I asked him, "What is a deacon?" And he explained to me, "Okay, that's when all. Oh, sorry. Okay, I will do it." Uh, Area 
since then, uh, I've been helping the ch uh, the, at the church and as a member and as a deacon, I've been helping. Uh, what I realized is when I was far away from God, He has brought me closer to God. Over the years, uh, I was able to work with him for quite a bit. Many times I've asked him for help. I don't remember any time when he says he can help. He says okay to everything. So, so the general general community So what I'm trying to say was, well, in our Myanmar group here, we come from the different ethnic groups from Myanmar, and there we have Karen, uh, Chin, Zomi, etc., and. He did, he did not just help us here that are members, but beyond that, our extended communities, he was a blessing to them as well. I want to share another thing that I, I, I learned and uh, respect him for is his humility. Although he could have says, go there and do that, you go there and do that, but he always shows by example and did it himself. For example, at potluck, he would be the last one to eat, and sometimes there's nothing left for him. So when he told me that he had his planning on going, my heart was not good. Yeah, so Thank you, Well, there's a lot to, to share, and but we've also texted and shared thank you, etc. So with that, uh, I want to um, the last thing I want to share. The kunane kwe dotwe ma sehalo. For this last two and a half years. The sorry, two and a half years. And the the chenoro apwe dhani ne. Chenoro apwe dhani ne dalaga. The chenoro teyao chen ani ne dalaga. ပါဘီလို့ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်တော်တို့မှာအဲ့ဒီအင်္ဂလိပ်ကြီးကအစကားပြောတာအခက်ခဲရှိတယ်နောက်ပြီးတော့ဒီ
May God bless all of you. We have some friends uh, that were part of the Myanmar group. Unfortunately, due to family situation, they had to move to different states. But when they heard Pastor Willie is to some degree following their footsteps, <laughs> they want to say thank you as well. And they're here with us on Zoom. If we could have their Zoom on the screen, please. Uh, Ethan, if you could help us. Uh, and I'm going to start with uh, the folks from Tennessee. And then we'll go to uh, Leanne, Mary's family, and then to Lucia's family. All three of them are here on this Zoom, and they want to say something a little bit as well. So Zobiak and family, you will be on the screen in in a minute or so. And if you would open your mic, go Zobia. Hello, Hello. Hey, come here. Do you know uh, I, will, I want to say first, um, I could say English, but broken English. So uh, I want to thank full for Pastor Willy, uh, the because of He's uh he's starting the our kids for seventy eighties education. So we just since today we are very, very happy for uh we are uh you know seventy eighties education plus our believer believing, you know. So I'm very thankful for he's starting. I have I still have a video. I sent it the the email. I thought they got on note. He's there oh it's amazing i still remember that the first day on the Ken church he he's amazing because of he his ex, extra job for like uh he pick up every day for our kid to drop in the what is that Buena vista and to drop back every day he drives the van so we don't spend the money nothing so he spent all the time uh his time in and you know the uh, we are very thankful for his, his helping our uh, our kid uh, seven activities education and our like Koso say about the he we are he he invite a lot of for the church through the cooking for spiritual fr friendship so we are thankful for everything you know he's he's the the best uh for honestly my life so Emmanuel Emmanuel choose him too, so he's baptized. So if we invite him to to come to over the Nashville, so we are happy to see. So Emmanuel say something too. So he's say well under. Say well, but this is a thing too. Thank you, Pastor, really for baptizing me. So, uh, thank you for everybody, every Pastor Willie and the. So, I will see you on Florida this summer, <laughs> and uh, we miss you all the Ken Church, everyone. And one thing I don't want to miss thing the uh, Jody the see uh, but Kuso say about I I say Amen because of Jody wife is very important. Uh, Jody support to Pastor Willie a lot so about the. The our kid, he, he's studying. The he spent a lot of time for our kid. So Jody support to Pastor Willie. So we are thank you, thank you for uh, Jody for your your support to Pastor Willie. He's in behind. So he's uh, so I never see uh, a good pastor like before. <laughs> so thanks for thank you for everything.
Sao mà ngại tệ? นั่นอืมคําเทศกรรมตอมของโอเคอ่าเอ่อกูซองเอ่อกูอินควันซองมอเสียปาเตอินควันตรงอ่ะลงดัมมามะเอ็นน่ะตัวแรกตักเก๋
We just really wanted to thank Pastor Willie and his family for everything that he's done for us. Pastor Willie for sending us to an amazing Christian school where we've got to make many friends and learn about the word of God. And for everything that he's done from sending us to school, for offering us a ride if we needed one. And he's been really helpful throughout all the years we lived in Washington. And we're just really grateful and blessed to have met him and his family. May God continue to bless you guys throughout your journey. Hello. Okay, first of all, I really hate public speaking, so this is just a tiny bit nerve wracking, but I don't want to miss this chance. Um, so I have a little something written down on my phone just in case I blinked out on stage. Um, so Pastor Willie, I just want to say thank you for all you have done. Um, this whole week, I've been pondering why you care so much about us, why you think about us. Oh man, <laughs> why you pray for us? Um, and I don't really know why, because I feel like we are not worthy. Um, but for what, I might need Pastor Kai Kai to translate too. Um, but for, <laughs> but for whatever reason you, you think about us, you care about us, and you pray for us. Um, so I just want to say thank you for that. Um, and I also want to mention someone, I don't remember his name, but someone in church, he, he was baptized with his uh, wife and he gave a beautiful testimony and he said something in that testimony and it was, every family needs a Pastor Willie. And I don't know everybody in here, but I think I could speak for every single person when I say that I completely agree with that statement. Um, and so I'm going to keep this short. Uh, and I'm going to end it with a phrase that I really, really hate, because the first time I heard this phrase, it was actually from Pastor Kai Kai when he was leaving. And it was the phrase, um, it was, it has been nice knowing you. And I really, really hated this phrase because I felt like it made me feel like we were never going to see each other again, which is how I feel right now. But even though I thought we would never see Pastor Kai Kai again, he is here right now. And so that kind of gives me hope that we will see you guys again. Oh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> um, so to all of you, Pastor Willie, Miss Jody, Jaden, Noah, and Layla, I just want to say it, it has been nice knowing you. Thank you. Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is James. Uh, I'm not a church member, but I have joined in the uh, Myanmar team and sometimes. And uh, when we leave, uh, Pastor Kai Kai, with, he's, uh, he's uh, my family. When we live with him, when we with us, we will join sometimes. And a special thanks to, I want to say special, special thanks to Pastor Willie. When we, when we uh, how to say, the popular, the COVID pandemic, during the pandemic, uh, my brother and sister passed away in my country, Myanmar. And that time, Pastor and visit and come and pray for us. He show love, his love and his kindness. Uh, until today, I never say to him that one word for thanks. So now I want to say thank you so much for your kindness. And then just now I talk, I speak with uh, Pastor Wari at the door. I asked to him, Pastor, when will you come back to Sarah, <laughs> so if you want to cancel, still you can cancel. <laughs> so 
We will miss you. We will love you all in always. I will be remembered always. God bless you all. Thank you so much, you all. Hi. Wow. Well, we met Pastor Willie and Jody when Jaden and Victor were starting in kindergarten at Buena Vista, and time went by so quickly. And I want to say that every time God gives us an assignment, sometimes we leave a place exactly how we found it. We leave a place worse than we found it, or we leave a place better than we found it. And I think that not only just the place, but Pastor Willie is leaving each individual better than he found it. And I think that that is so profound. I have a couple of stories about that. <laughs> that just shows how um, amazing of a human being he is. Um, Victor coaches with Pastor Willie. Jody was like, well, you the manager, right? <laughs> Everything, full support, the kids, full support. And I remember he found um, a team that we could play in Wenatchee. Was it Wenatchee? And he drove the kids all to Wenatchee to play for one day and drove them back. And we got back home at 2 a.m. And I thought, what kind of pastor does that? <laughs> Another story I have is um, we moved out to the country. And so one winter, we were very cold. And Pastor Willie remembers details a lot about each individual. And I know you guys cut down some trees and he came and he brought wood. Not only did he drop off the wood, but he cut them up in perfect pieces and he stacked them so nicely on our shed. And he made sure there was like a sheet so that the rain couldn't wet it. And he just goes above and beyond. And I just know that a person like that is only like that because they understand what it feels like to not be remembered or to not be cared for. And I can only imagine the circumstances that created a person like Pastor Willie. And I just thank God for allowing you to be who you are, regardless of anything you've ever gone through and your, your family. Um, thank you so much, Jaden and Layla and Noah for sharing your dad with so many people. I can't imagine that it's super easy. And thank you so much, Jody. We will miss you all so much. Thank you. Um, so did we introduce ourselves? Yeah, so I'm, I'm Victor. <laughs> Um, this is Siobhan. Our children um, go to Buena Vista, and that's how we grew to know the Ivanki family um, and, and grew so close because our children and their children are pretty much in the same classes for the most part. Best friends? No. And best friends. Yeah, it's, you know, so, so they are family to us. Um, and there's just something special about Pastor Willie, the whole family, but when it comes down to it, um, you know, I, you know, this, the, the thing that when I was sitting down, the thing that came to mind was just um, uh, love languages. You know, there's so many different types and ways to express love, and he expresses it in so many different ways. And in, in words, um, you know, he he's a funny guy. <laughs> you know, it, like, for lack of a better way to say it, um, you know, he, he has a great sense of humor, but he um, is able to uh, just really communicate to, to you with that sense of humor um, to address, uh, you know, areas where you hurt. And, and just to, to encourage, you know, and um, I, you know, those that have come up, I, I've seen uh, many people express some of the same things. 
Um, you know, but one one way that speaks to me a lot is acts of service. And yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know, well, I took pride was at a wedding 60 yeah. years ago, so <laughs> that really means a lot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I so I I really appreciate Pastor William many different ways. The story that Siobhan shared about um about the the wood. Um it it sp it, it speaks volumes because uh, the challenge that we were going through at the time uh, when we moved, uh, the support that he provided in, in in moving, but when we went through the winter, it was it was a difficult winter, and we were at a house that you know you know needed some work, but we were, praise God for the house, um, but we were cold, and he he literally just came in and you know provided that act of service for us. And I mean, there's there's numerous different situations, um, but that was just one that really spoke to my heart because um, I, I needed the support at the time. And I just, just want to say, I appreciate you, Pastor Willie. Love your family. I love you and we're gonna miss you um, to the extent that we might move down there with you. <laughs> I don't know how many remember, but uh, Pastor Willie has challenged me more than once on this. Because he always asks, are you there yet, Leonard? <laughs> when it came to the gospel, then I had to really flip through that, that Bible to, to get to the pages where I was. And he even accused me one time of not being there. <laughs> well, I wasn't quiet either. <laughs> so... And I had to thank him for when my younger pa my younger brother passed away. He had didn't know him or anything, but we had asked him to have a service for us. And he said, "Well, I don't know if they have a pastor at Bonnie Lake, but I'll do it if if he, they don't have one." So he stepped in, and we really had a wonderful service through that. And one time he even came to our house. We had to have a new garbage disposal put in, and he said, well, I don't know if I know how to do it or not, but I'm willing to do it, and he came out and did it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love your family so much. Pastor Willie. I think one of my first memories of you is the act of service at neighbor to neighbor. You know, there's a there's an old saying it says preach the gospel and if necessary use words. The pastors hardly ever needed to use words. Because he was there at neighbor to neighbor. He's been there many times mowing the lawn. He helped me move when I was in desperate need. He was in the hospital with me at my side. And he prayed with me. But more than that, we'd had a disagreement. And um, I had said something like, we're so far from each, each other in, in this one point, um, I don't even think we can have a conversation. And um, 
He's forgiving. I remember in the hospital when I was like, you know, please forgive me. And Lucy was just like it had never been. And even though we don't always agree on every point, We love each other. So sometimes words are not even necessary because it's the act of service. And I think he's taught me a lot myself about service because he's willing to be there, willing to be on the phone, willing to pray, willing to Come by your side and willing to forgive. So thank you for teaching us about the gospel. Good evening. Um, Sorry about that. Uh, I feel sad today because Excuse me. I I just get uh pray from the I need interpreter. <laughs> I need interpreter. Jamina, <laughs> Jamina. I just get uh pray from a pastor before and inside my house or. So uh, a cow. But <clears throat> uh, the one who prayed for me uh, through the phone or uh, when I was in my <clears throat> me when I was in my daughter's school uh, in, uh, one day, I feel she would pass Kai Kai and pass away. And <clears throat> excuse me, we meet in the field and Pasa Willie told me, no pick up. We pray. <clears throat> uh, I pray for you and he put his hand in my head and Pastor Willie pray for me. So uh, God hear that prayer and until now I can stand up and nah, it really, really touched me. Thank you. And <clears throat> wherever you go, God will be with you and uh, here we meet again. God, God bless you, you and your family. And wherever you go, God will be with you and God will guide you. That is my prayer. Thank you very much. Which one I go on to know this one be man, not go. So at this time, we're going to um, invite Rachel and Kusa to come up. As they come up, uh, can you all uh, in the PA booths, can you play the video that is on the iMac? There should be an audio as well.
Each time I come into your stop presence, right I stand in wonder. Imagine you still see the group picture. And we're going to transition here. Uh, we'll, we'll play that later. All right. So, Thanks. Thank you. I told Pastor Kai Kai I do not want to be on stage, and he keeps putting me on stage. Um, so we have some gifts for you. I wish you didn't see what I was holding in my hand, but um, we have a white elephant for you, and Ms. Garcia explained it way better than I would have during uh, church today, so I'm just going to leave with that. And then in this bag, we have a bunch of fruit covers, chocolates, and just a bunch of fruits. Um, does anyone want to guess what the fruit is? You got it. How'd you guys guess that? Um, and then at the last, we have this photo album, and it's titled Farewell, Iwankyu. And it's basically just a bunch of memories that we have together. Obviously not, I cannot look at you guys. Obviously, obviously not. Um, all of it, but uh, it's a few. And we're gonna give this to you, all of it, but we're gonna take this back because we still want to do some things on it. So just pretend that we gave it to you. <laughs> I'm gonna give this to Guso and we're gonna present it to you guys. If you guys wanna come up. Thank you. Do you have anything to say, Gustav? Thank you. So much. Thank you. We had an updated uh, version of that video, so uh, Rachel is putting that up there real quick. In the meantime, uh, the photo album, uh, they will take it later, but some of our team members still need to sign it. That's why Pastor Willie, we had to take it back, yeah. But seriously, Pastor Willie, you're up next, um, but after me. This would be the last time anybody would have uh, a chance to uh, publicly here in front to share. Uh, the Van Q family, we, on behalf of our Myanmar group here, uh, we want to thank you so much for what you have done in our lives, the impacts you have seen, many stories that were shared. There are others that are just stuck in our hearts that we can find a word to express. There's something, Pastor Willie, you mentioned to me. Anybody, everybody here pretty much know that Pastor Willie is AKA a joker, you know? He makes everybody laugh. So as, there's something that he shares with me and says, Mm, Pastor Kai Kai, uh, I thought we brought you to straighten me up, not to add another joker. Well, he didn't quite say it that way, but he said it's so much smoother and nicer. But um, 
sorry for my language, I may need uh, interpreter as well. There's a picture somewhere in this slideshow later that has you and me in Barron Springs. You came all the way and says hi. That was not our first time meeting each other. Uh, I remember him saying while I was in high school, at that time he never thought this would be the joker that he'll bring. But in that, that was a picture. Later you will see us eating probably two mango juice. I'm not sure what that was. Um, and he fed me a stranger, uh, but also trying to make sure uh, that he brings someone that could uh, connect with the Myanmar community. And that's how, how much he loves our Myanmar people. Came all the way. Oh, this is just introduction. Um, A stranger the family doesn't know. They invite that, brought the Ken Church family, brought together. You know, usually at a church, it doesn't fly through in the church board without the pastor's support. So we thank the church, and it is an initiation, I believe of the leader that represents the church for investing in us. As you, you heard, our students, thousands of monies were invested in their lives. Some you saw singing in front of you. Others still doing your their positive impact because someone decided to invest in them. Oh, for sure, all those money didn't come from his pocket. That is supposed to be a joke, but but yet. He spent his own monies. Now, you know, Jody, where all those <laughs> monies went. And many of those I get to enjoy, you know, a lot of Thai food. And I'm uh, sorry, Jaden, Leila, Noah. <laughs> I, I think I spent most of your uh, piggy bank money that your, your dad has put aside. I don't know, but I ate a lot. And I think he knows that, oh, this, this guy uh, here by himself probably wouldn't know how to cook, so let me feed him as much as possible so it would take me out. But the family, as Kusal says, you know, to be honest, I've thought of, wow, Jody, the sacrifice that she paid. Remember a couple of times in front of Nukek's house. By the time we left their house, it's about 12 a.m. And I'm wondering, like Jody, <laughs> sleeping by herself in that king's bed, you know? Well, I'm just assuming it's king. Um, but I think most of the time it's the queen's bed because Pastor Willie is gone, you know. That's supposed to be a joke too, but. On a serious note, I didn't measure that. So anyway. Yeah. 
the family welcomed me, that means they welcome the whole community. I remember one memory, it shocked me because not, that's not the pattern. To some degree, mostly in our culture, it doesn't really. And I don't really expect a lot from these others in that particular sense. And that is one Sabbath morning, I think I was supposed to be preaching. It was during the time I was staying at their house when Jaden's voice was different. <laughs> he took my shirt and ironed it. A pastor is doing that for this guy. So he, that's where he was like a father to me. My dad would at times iron for us, even as an adult. It wasn't one time, a couple of times past where they did, I think maybe three, the three angels message, I don't know. But And the, the, the children, Jaden, Noah, Leila, thank you for welcoming me to your family, a stranger in your midst. I miss the time when we did Leila, a Bible study, well, but not Bible study, but devotional time. Interesting, and took some funny selfies. So they welcomed me as a brother once again because they love our Myanmar community. <laughs> when I'm away from my parents, this is the parents that I belong to. They took care of me, fed me, so that we could serve our Myanmar young community here together. <laughs> And yes, well, we could go on and go on with many things, but the question is, when I first heard that they were moving, it was in Jalat Wyoming to a pastor. I couldn't react because I was, but I'm sure that pastor saw my reaction. <laughs> so first thing that came in my mind is what would happen to my people? Pastor Willie, really, your family, you love us. I'm not here to speak of a message. You're supposed to speak of find the final message after this, but there's one story that really speaks from the Bible about a story of Metshibosheth or whatever that name was. Somewhere in the Old Testament, I I I, I Googled the book, but I I forgot. It's somewhere there in my history. But that story is a story of David, the king, taking care of this Saul's descendant, his enemy, taking care of this descendant, the last one left, and bringing him, this stranger, to, so to speak, bringing that person to the king's table. And that is what I believe, Pastor Willie, you have done 
for me and for our Myanmar community. You gave us a seat. Everybody, please look at the back. You gave us a seat in those tables. So Pastor Willie, we thank you so much for giving us a seat. In our Lord's table, what will we do? And I know you're going to share with us your final message of what will we do. So you would continue to. So with that, uh, a brother. Oh, here's one thing. I. He doesn't like me to call him pastor because that's not his culture. And I can't do that. Yes, we may be brothers, but like I said, you are kind of a pat. Uh, I would say he's, he's one of my couple, a few mentors. So if you want to get something to me, if he says, I think so far I have not really declined, but well, maybe he doesn't really ask me to do anything, but he did it, you know, <laughs> as many of you know, but thank you so much for this mentorship. I've learned and grown a lot. And as Rachel mentioned earlier, uh, Rachel, that was not my saying, but it's actually pastors really saying that I copied and pretty much use it, uh, plagiarism, but I don't get graded for that, so perfect though. Uh, which is, it was nice knowing you. So we were planning, our Myanmar group really, really want to thank you and your family to honor you. Uh, the little token of gifts compared to what you, your family has sacrificed is nothing. But the memories we share will move, go on and please do not forget us. Continue to advocate for us and continue to find a way for us to have a seat at the table. Pastor Willie, please come and share us your final thoughts for our Myanmar communities here. And we want to thank the extended families as well. And after that, we'll have a, we'll sing a closing song. And after that, we'll have a benediction where they will surround the Yeah, if you look at my note, seriously, I don't know where to begin, what I'm supposed to share. I've been, it just couldn't come out. So this, even what I said is pre-introduction. Sorry, I said earlier introduction, it's a pre-introduction, but the story continues. Whether you're in Florida, on the beach with your whole family, as you know the theme, <laughs> uh, please continue to remember us. Uh, you know, so you have this is your chance to share, address our family here, and after that we'll sing a closing song side by side. We will surround each other. Uh, have pray. I'm gonna ask. Uh, Pastor Maxwell, uh, Randy Maxwell, our uh, representative from the conference, uh, to bless over you. And the rest of our family here will all 
pray together as well. Or oh, th maybe there's a video as well. Oh, do you want to play now? Okay, okay, we'll play that now. Sorry. Keep standing. <laughs> Good morning, Pastor Lily. We just wanted to say thank you for sending us to school back in Washington and helping us with a lot of things while we lived there. And we're really grateful to you and your family for all that you've done for us. May God be with you on your travels to Florida and continue to guide you and your family throughout everything that you do. God bless you. May God bless you and your family, Pastor Lily. Pastor Mango, we are going to miss your dad jokes. We're going to miss the compassion you have for others, the love of the gospel, and just the way you affirm and lift up the people around you. Jody, we've really uh, greatly appreciated your ambassadorship on behalf of Christian education internationally. Few realize how exhausting it is to travel through so many different time zones, packing, unpacking, being on when you walk into rooms. It, it is really a challenge, and yet you've done it with poise and grace. Thank you so much. Jaden, thank you for all the bricks that you left for Buena Vista. We'll be able to build a new gym. We'll maybe even name it after you. And Noah, you love God's second book so much with such a passion, and that's inspirational to me. And I just pray as you go to Florida that you will learn to love those four-legged critters down there just as much as you have up here in, in uh, Washington State. Layla, you're as cute as a button. You're as fierce as a warrior, but your compassion and your willingness to defend those that are down and out, that is going to be missed. Ivanku family, we are going to miss you greatly. You've had a huge impact on, on Kent, on Buena Vista, on the Washington Conference, and simply said, obrigado. God bless. Hello, Hello, Pastor Willie and family. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for being a good pastor. Hello, Pastor Willie. I'm so sorry that I have to do for our prayer service. I just would like to take a moment to express my gratitude for everything that you have done to my life and also to our Demar group. And we have been blessed by you and your family. I just would like to wish you the best. Your uh, next ministry in Orlando, Florida. Uh, may God grace and his guidance be with you and the family to this next chapter. Uh, just want to wish you the best. Thank you so much for everything you have done. Can't wait to come visit you and the family in Orlando. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful show. Our pastor, really family. Um, we hope you guys are doing well. We really miss you. Uh, we heard you guys are moving to Florida. Uh, even though we're excited for you, we're really saddened to hear that you'll be leaving the Kent Church family. And even though we're all scattered around the states, um, as you once said, once you're a Kent Church family member, you're always a Kent Church family member. And uh, we hope that our paths cross again sometime in the foreseeable future. But if not, we'll see you underneath the mango tree up in heaven. Hello, Pastor Willie. Happy Sabbath. Um, thank you very much for having us at Kent Seventh-day Adventist Church. Even though I'm pretty new with in this church, um, I can see that you're a nice person, a nice guy, an honest guy. And what I want to say is that may God be with you through all your journey and with your family and your entire life. Thank you very much. And may God bless you abundantly through all your journey. Hello, Hello Pastor Willie and family. 
Thank you for your care and love. May God bless you continually and help you. And we miss you and love you. May God bless you always. Bye-bye. Dear Pastor Willie and family, when I heard the news of you leaving, I was very shocked and I could not believe it was real. But it, I just want to thank you for all of you have done. Thank you for helping us with my daughter education and helping send her to our Adventist Academy that has made not only an impact on her, but all of us. Thank you for praying for us. We will really miss you and we love you guys. I want to leave you with one Bible verse that reminds me of you and your family. That is Mark 16, 15. He said to them, go into the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Bye, Pastor Willie. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hello, Pastor Willie. Uh, this is uh, our family. We started this family by um, we're the, the pastor that we've been waiting to get married. And this is our daughter that you dedicated to the Lord. And um, today is a sad day for us that you have to move. But we wish you the best and we will still come see you sometime. And if we don't see you, we still will see you in the Lord's of house. The Lord's house. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, wish you all the best from our family. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> Our God has sent you this place to lead us in the way, to teach us from his word, and we will try to do our best, always ready and willing to share a comforting thought and a smile. We thank you for your ministry, your guidance, and your care. His greatest blessing for your life is our most humble prayer. To pastor's wife, when we thank God for our pastor, we must give him thanks for, too, for when your husband came to us, God also sent us to you. And we say thanks for all you do and lift you up in a prayer. Your presence blesses all of us who know you from day to day. As a pastor's wife, you are serving God in a fine and worthy way. We will miss we you, Pastor, Pastor, Pastor William 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 family. family. Yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you to Pastor Willie for all that you have done. When I think about our times together, three memories come to mind. The first one is in 2019 with in Journey to Bethlehem. And I think we had about a two to three, two or three minutes interaction where we both set our lines perfectly with no mistake or we didn't we didn't laugh or anything. Um that was really funny. And I the second one, I actually wasn't that present there in that moment. But I think my dad was sick and you had called him on the phone and you had prayed for him. And after that phone call ended, my dad was a little bit emotional just because of how thankful he was that you prayed for him. And I thought that was really important. Um and then the third was in 2019 also when you baptized me that was a really special memories that i will never forget um and to miss joey you are a very beautiful person inside and out um every time i ask you any questions i feel like you always help me and even when you don't know the answers to the questions i wanted or need you are you were always willing to go the extra step to get that answer and i feel like anytime i hear people talking about you it's always oh i love miss jody so much she has helped me with this and she helps me with this and to a lot of people in case you don't know to a lot of people everybody sees you as an angel which you are and so i also want to thank you because because of you i have a lot of friends that are loyal and trustworthy and that comes from all over the world 
Um, so I just want to thank you for that. And then to all of you, I just want to say it's been nice knowing you. Thank you, Pastor Oli, for what you've done for our family and how you baptized my brother and me. And we hope to meet you again. Thank you, Pastor Oli. We miss you. Thank you for giving me a chance to come to say something. So we are not happy because the pastor with is going to go, but we thank you. Especially I'm um, thank you for teaching us, my daughter. Always he listen how we say Holy Spirit. Thank you for always uh, say about Holy Spirit to give them your name. They will grow up and always know Holy Spirit. And the, thank you for being kind. And you show us how to be strong for each other, for how Aaron and Moses, they was, you know, I listen how everyone was saying that. So thank you. And I was happy when my daughter was telling me how you teach her. About the word of God, and also, uh, my favorite one is uh, the Christmas story. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for sharing your heart with us tonight. Sometimes all those things are said at a funeral. And I kind of felt like I was at my own funeral a little bit. But I'm so glad that you shared them with me now. And I'm glad that I rubbed off on Pastor Kai Kai a little bit. With his sense of humor. You got good jokes, Pastor Kai Kai. But I want to just share just kind of real brief real short and then we'll sing our song that i went to grand rapids Adventist academy to do a week of prayer and kai kai at the time came up to me and thanked me for doing the week of prayer and i asked him where he's from and he told me wherever he's from and i forgot and then I went to Andrews University and there was a student. His name was Ang Lao. He was um, very popular on campus. He asked me if I wanted to go down in the boys' dorm and train and spar. And I said, no, not a chance. He became the most famous athlete in the country of Myanmar. One of the, it's known as the Burmese Python. He's a mixed, mixed martial artist. That's all I knew, that's all. Then we went to a family reunion in Florida and Ang Lao was at the family reunion because he was working with bees. He's a beekeeper and didn't think much of it, that was 2007. Then we came to Kent and there were two kids that were up there, Kaino and Ching Boy from Oklahoma, the Cop family. They had like six kids, I think, four kids, six kids. Yeah, lots of kids, they were here. And the dad told the story that they would come 
and they didn't really speak the language. And one time he had the kids on his back. He was walking in the rain to go home and the kids started crying because it was a lot of rain. They were cold. They had no car. And I realized something so little as a ride that anybody within the church would have given him a ride, but they didn't know there was a need. And we met lots of different people when we came here to the Kent Church, and one of them you saw there, um, Mary's daughter, Leanne, we call her. You might have heard the story that Mary was Pastor Kai Kai's teacher back in Myanmar. And so we thought she was an Adventist teacher back home, and she's here. Her daughter goes to public school, and she would love for her daughter to go to the Adventist school. So that's how it all began, is just learning a little bit of the story, learning the journey, and then asking God to open the doors. And this church has had a history of supporting families and children with school. And they loved them with adventures. They loved them with pathfinders. They loved them and included them as much as they could. So I got a chance to come at a time where the church was already warm and loving. And then I remembered that Pastor Kai Kai told me he was from a certain part of the world. And I sent him a Facebook message. And I asked him where he was from. Burma, Myanmar. And then I realized <laughs> that connection that he is the one that came up to me. There were several kids that we could prayer. A few of them came up and thanked me and made conversation. Pastor Kai Kai was one of them. So then we brought Pastor Kai Kai for a summer internship. <laughs> Trick was on him because he thought he was going to learn how to, how to do something, but we just brought Pastor Kai Kai here, and he worked and worked and worked and worked. And uh, then he came back again, I think another summer, and then he graduated, then he went back home to visit, then they asked him to come as a Bible worker, then he came, and how long did you stay? One, two years? Two years, he was at, at Buena Vista every morning, greeting the kids, he pastored Maple Valley, and then he went to the seminary to master divinity. Don't let him fool you. I think he just finished. He's got like a 3.9 GPA. He's got Theta, Alpha, Kappa, some society. He's giving tours at the Campari in Gillette. He's about to go to New Guinea, Papua New Guinea here on Monday. That's where Ted Wilson was at, by the way. So Pastor Kaka told me he only does big things now. But we asked him to come here, and he came today. So, oh, ba yeah. sorry. So basically... How this all started was coming to Kent, being in a loving church, getting to know people, and asking God to open the doors. Someone came to church one day, and then they sent us a check for $25,000. And hardly remember, we thought this might be a scam. What is, what is this all about? And eventually, they said, just use it for the kids. They had a particular connection to people from Myanmar. And uh, other donations would come in and things like that. So I just want to say thank you for loving me. When we go to the homes, they'll clear people off the sofa so that we could sit down. They'll even clear pregnant women off the sofa. No, that's a joke. That's exaggeration. But they're like, okay, Pastor Willie and your family. And they treat us like royalty. They love us. And because the way that you love us, the only thing we could do is respond to your love. So thank you so much for loving our family. We love you. We know that God will continue to guide you. You have a wonderful church family here with the Kent uh, Church, the English Church. You're a part of that church. Brother Saw, he doesn't realize that he's the head deacon. He doesn't, he works so he can't make board meeting, but he's the head deacon of this church. Um, everyone else is involved and helps in many different ways. So no matter where we go, no matter where life takes us, we will always be family. We'll always be a part of the Kent family, which means we'll always be part of God's family.
And you guys, uh, where'd you steal this from? Who's mango? Where did this come from? I saw it in the video, actually. Where did this come from? Is it from Cradle Roll? Well, I've never seen this here before. I've been a pastor for seven and a half years. And my last night, someone brought a mango tree. I know, but I was just thinking, where did it come from? We were able to afford it <laughs> since we paid off the mortgage. Well, this was beautiful. So I just from the bottom of our heart, my family, they know you guys have loved us more than we could even put into words. You love me, my wife, our kids. Thank you so much. Thank you for allowing us to be part. I wish I had learned the language so I could properly thank you, but I'm just going to say thank you. Yeah, no, I don't trust his interpretation. So I think we're good. It's, and I, I know you guys, you're used to uh, the Samuels. I'm sorry, you're not used to this, but they tell you five o'clock. It's like 10 o'clock right now. So we've had some Myanmar prayer meetings. It's like 1030. The kids are wiped out sleeping. They're like, Pastor, now please have a few words. So thank you so much. We love you. We'll meet under the mango tree, but I look forward to seeing you guys again. If you ever come to Florida, um, we'd be happy. We, we probably can't take you all to Disney, but we could show you some alligators. Those, we found those. They're hanging around for free. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Are we getting late? It's all right. It's all that one. Pastor Willie, not Peter. Right? <laughs> um, so just a, um, I'm going to be reading a quick note from our Myanmar group to, uh, yeah, uh, to Pastor Willie, not Peter, again. Uh, <laughs> um, just want to say, I realized that this floated off, floated off. So, um, Pastor Willie, Jaden, Noah, uh, they're not a man yet, but Florida is famous for Florida men. So, I'm not going to be looking for Flo uh, Florida men anymore. So, uh, here's the, the reading. Uh, to Pastor Willie and family, as you prepare to embark on your new journey of ministry in Orlando, Florida, we, the Kent Seven-Day Adventist Myanmar group come together to express our heartfelt gratitude for your devotion and the spiritual guidance you have so graciously provided over the past eight years. Your leadership has been a reflection of God's love and mercy through your actions and words you have shown us the depth of divine compassion and patience. Your commitment to our spiritual growth and well-being has been a source of light in our life, reminding us of the strength and peace that comes from walking in faith. Both you and your family have been integral to our community. Your involvement in our special event and your un Wavering support during times of need have not only strengthened our faith, but also de depended our com communal bonds. This movement have truly e exemplified the living gospel through actions steep in love and fellowship. As you begin this new chapter in Orlando, we send you forth with our prayers full of hope that you will continue to spread God's love as favorably as you have here. We are confident that the seeds of faith you have planted in us will continue to grow and 
that your new congregation will be as blessed by your presence as we have been. Thank you for being a testament of God's endless grace in our life. May he guide it, you and your family in this transition. And may his love shine ever brightly through your ministry. With deepest gratitude and affection, Kent Seventh-day Adventist Myanmar Group. Thank you so much, Pastor. And also, um, uh, Jody, Jaden, Noah, and Leila, we thank you. We thank you guys so much, and God bless you all. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone for being here with us as we honor and thank our dear Pastor Woody and his family. Uh, join us in singing our closing song, Side by Side. Please stand and uh, let's make a huge circle around here. Pastor Woody and your family, if you could come forward here with Pastor uh, Randy. Uh, let's let's make a huge circle. Those of us on this side can see over there the uh, lyrics. Yeah, yeah, around. Let's connect our hands and make a huge circle. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Come on, come in closer, closer, closer. Uh, come in closer. Yes. Side by side, we stand. Awaiting God's song, worshiping the same King, believing on His ring, moving on His way. He is the Son of God. Soldiers all are to go where Jesus stands. Oh, fight the faith and we will overcome. Heaven is our goal to save every soul. Pain and we are
Amen. Amen. Well, it's a dangerous thing to give me the mic last. <laughs> but uh, really, it's been, it's always a pleasure and an honor to see uh, someone honored in the presence of their friends, to know that it is sincere and it's heartfelt, and to see the impact of your ministry here uh, in this place. And true, um, Ken family will miss you. The Myanmar family will, will miss you. But the things that were shared this afternoon uh, demonstrate that they know how to minister to others now. That spirit of hospitality, that spirit of service, that spirit of selfless love and welcoming people at the table they've experienced, and now they will go and do likewise. And so your influence, your spirit will continue to linger here, hopefully for generations to come, as this place is known as a place with a welcome table. So we send you forth uh, with our, our blessing and our benediction. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get to the airport now that you guys are moving away, <laughs> since you were our Uber drivers. <laughs> but um, we'll be uh, we'll be seeing you in Florida. Yes, we will. <laughs> Let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for the shepherds that you you send us, and we thank you for this family that has shepherded this church family for the last seven years. We pray now that as they take up another assignment at your bidding on the East Coast in Florida, Lord, that you will bless them, uh, that you will prepare a table for them, a table of welcome in a new location, and that they will simply continue to be who they are so that the blessing that we have experienced here in Washington will be replicated there in Florida. And there will be other stories and there will be other uh, people who have received prayers and, and rides to school and wood and, and, and love and all the things that we have enjoyed. It'll just be replicated there. And soon we will be able to gather together under the mango tree in heaven, all together, never to part again. Until then, Willie, Jody, Layla, Noah, and Jaden, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you his peace. And together we claim the promise that he has written his name on your forehead and that he will bless you until we meet again. And we thank you, Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen and amen. Before you all leave, we would love to take a, a group picture together. And please come under the mango tree. <laughs> so please come uh, to the front and let's take a group picture together. Please, as Willie really and your family at the center, please. Uh, if 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 you're five feet and above, maybe at the back. And yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
hot. This is nice. Yes. Someone talk. Yeah. Thank you. Tiffany, Tiffany, yeah, low battery. So make sure you see the camera because if you can't see the camera, you can, the, the camera cannot see you, okay? I'll have to say Yvonne's here. All right. <laughs> Ready? Uh, okay. Here we go. You want that one? All right. Let's go. Ready? Three, two, one. Ivanki. Ivanki. I thought it was Ivan Kiwi. No? Oh. All right. Here we go. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm coming. I'm coming. Here. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> Ivan, no, Ivan, kill. Three, two, one. Take multiple ones. All right. Yeah. We don't have to pay, so you can. can uh, no, no. Uh, let's do a funny face. Funny face. Oh, one more for Tiffany. Please don't move. <laughs> Okay. Ah, funny face. Everybody. Perfect. Who, pass winning? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yes. All right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, yeah. Are you going to help pass really move? Yeah. Get some boxes. Thanks, Mariah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 